Long before there were grills or even grill grates, there was barbecue. I give you the caveman T-bone. It starts with a chimney starter full of natural lump charcoal. When the coals glow red, dump them out, then rake the coals into an even mound. For the steak, we're using my favorite cut, the T-bone. It's actually two steaks in one, a New York strip and a filet mignon connected with a T-shaped bone. And remember, meat next to the bone is always the most flavorful. That's why people like ribs so much. Step number one, season the steaks on both sides with coarse sea salt and freshly ground black pepper. Turn each steak over and season the other side the same way. Why coarse sea salt? Because the crystals dissolve more slowly, so you get these salty bursts of flavor when you bite into the steak. I created this dish to launch our ultimate grilling contest. The idea is to challenge you to create a dish that is so unusual, so outrageous, so over the top that you could win an all expenses paid trip to our barbecue university at the Broadmoor Resort in Colorado Springs and a Weber Genesis gas grill. Just log on to our website, barbecuebible.com, for an entry form and the rules of the contest. And now, the cool part. Lay the steaks directly on the coals. Because back in caveman times, they didn't have grill grates. So what's the advantage of cooking a steak this way? Well, first of all, it looks way cool, and you should never overestimate the importance of looking way cool. But there actually is a flavor dividend. You get a surface charring that gives you a smoke flavor that you just can't achieve on a conventional grill. So when you start to see blood purling up on the surface of the meat, it's time to turn the steaks. Simply grab them, and you want to knock the steak to dislodge any burning embers. Cooking time about three to four minutes per side. And what you can do to dislodge any coals is simply brush any ashes off the top of the steak. And you can see we have a weather situation here. Well, a little rain never stopped a dedicated griller. So once the steaks are grilled, test for doneness, you poke. Gently yielding means medium rare. Just place the T-bones on a heat-proof platter. And now there's one more preparation, our Hellfire hot sauce. So place a cast iron skillet on the embers. And to it add extra virgin olive oil. And the Hellfire comes from sliced jalapeno chilies. It's now thinly sliced garlic. And finally chopped fresh cilantro. and cook the mixture until the garlic and chili begin to brown about two to three minutes. Finally, just take your Hellfire hot sauce and pour it over the T-bones. And there you have it, folks, caveman T-bones with Hellfire hot sauce. 
grilling doesn't get much more primal or more delicious than this. The recipe for caveman T-bones with Hellfire hot sauce is on our website, barbecuebible.com. I'm Stephen Reichlin, grill on. Ha, ha, ha.